fourth example, um, let's see, I have a negative, this divided by absolute value of that, minus a negative 7. So the first thing I want to solve out is the parentheses, which is right here. Okay, so 2 cubed. 2 cubed, be careful, 2 cubed is not 2 times 3. This is 2 times 2 times 2. Okay, and then I can just rewrite the whole thing. The value of negative 8 minus a negative 7. So I have to solve this out first. So 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8. So I'm going to make this an 8, an eight negative 8, divided by absolute value of negative 8, minus a negative 7. So I want to solve this out too, because absolute value, um, it's kind of like parentheses, so just solve that out first before you divide and um, do anything else. So absolute value is of negative 8 is 8 because neg the distance from um, 0 is 8. So I'm going to write out everything else out. Don't forget these signs, okay, minus a negative 7. Write everything else out exactly the way it is. So negative 8 divided by 8 minus a negative 7. I have to divide before I subtract, right? So I'll do this next. Negative 8 divided by 8 is negative 1 because I have one negative sign that, that's going to make my quotient a negative and then I'm going to write all this out again so minus a negative 7. I'm subtracting integers so I'm going to apply the 2 dash rule make this a plus and make that a plus so negative 1 plus a 7 here um, again I have different signs so I'm going to find the difference of their absolute values the absolute value of negative 1 is 1, absolute value of 7 is 7, that's 6, and then I'm going to give it the sign of a 7, okay, and that is it. That's your answer, okay? So if any of um, these problems were confusing to you, if you forgot how to, um, you know, do some of these like either dividing or multiplying, maybe adding, subtracting integers, then just go back to the previous lessons and review over it, and then try to come back here and um, figure out these problems too, okay? So that's it for this lesson. Thank you for watching educator.com.